Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vediazzo back into the Shadowverse Champions Battle video. So we got George of Tight come subscribe us for how we stop it last time was we battled against these three guys over here, or these this guy, this guy over here, and then the other guy on the very far end right over there. To learn information on how to beat Maru, learn that I apparently am nowhere near close to crafting Ignis Dragon, and pretty much that I have to do a lot more grinding to get him. But we could also craft a Bahamut if I wanted to. I'm also tempted to go buy more packs to try to get a Bahamut, but we're just gonna ignore all that right now. But for now, we have to beat Moru. And we might challenge Lucia today too, I have no idea. We know from fighting those guys, Moru has a bunch of stuff that's untargetable. We have to hit all of his stuff at once. And this deck doesn't do the greatest job of that, but at the same time it does. I am half tempted to throw in a Conflagration because if I do, then, um, you know, I have more board nuke options, but at the same time, one of them did give us Angelic Barrage, which at least does something, but I guess specifically against, also being able to destroy his shit with Execution might actually win me games. So, right now, we're just gonna go into this with this deck, hope we win on the first attempt, and yeah, because I know the two things that board nuke him slash banish his stuff will kill him, but I have to draw into those first. So we'll see how far we get. Hopefully we do get to battle him and Lucia today, but we'll see. Mainly right now it's just beat Moru. So let's talk. Uh -huh, there you are. Not bad. Up for a game? With the hopes of the people that you crushed behind me, yes. And I'll beat you for them. And myself. Uh -huh. Is that so? Oh that's actually perfect timing because for that. If you ask me, I'm nearly a few turns away from joining those losers of the day. Try me, Moru. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. <clears throat> I almost feel bad for them. They aren't pathetic. Uh huh. Such pretty words. But kindness won't take you very far in Shadowverse, you know. Surely you've seen it yourself. Oh, okay, there you go. This is the underworld, where hope comes to die. Your anguished cries will be music to my ears. Shadow Shadowverse showdown! Okay, let's take Moru down. Hopefully on the first attempt with Bahamut spam. That's pretty much my hope right now, because he plays Havencraft. We all know my, uh, my, uh, experiences with that so far on this channel. But hopefully we win on the first attempt. And, um, if we can, then we might actually have enough time to beat Lucia. I don't know. Um, ready, at least five of them. Are you ready? Then let's play. Okay, unyielding despair. Okay, I wish I... Do not tell me that says it reduces all damage by one. Do not tell me it reduces all damage by one. My turn. Do not tell me I saw the words reduce all damage by one. Please do not tell me I saw the words... What? Change its defense to one. Okay, direct damage. So you can't swing into his followers. So that's literally what his skill does. So it sets the defense to one. The downside is it affects both of us, but the upside to this is because it auto changes the defense to one, we can um pretty much if we do damage to them, as long as they don't have ambush, such as Celestial Archer over here, we'll be in a good position. But here comes more we're doing get his game plan, which was that. Um, let's just Oracle, because the faster we ramp, the faster we access our bullshit, so if we just do that now, well, there goes the plan to hurt it, um, and that's what it means by direct damage doesn't hurt them, so I need to see one of the two Bahamuts now, uh-huh, um, Okay, so this is not a game I'm winning. I I can already tell, because there's no point in trying to hit his face. There, there, or sorry, there's no point in trying to hit his followers. There's literally just no point. So I have to pray that I see one of the things. Oh god, now he gets more attacks. Well. See, soccer field doesn't do shit here either, and honestly, there's no point in, um... I don't know 
know how far I can cut my cost in half even for that to be a worthwhile trade. Does it do it again? Okay, so I've pretty much given Moru access to a gun. So, if I top deck Bahamut, he's dead. He is dead if I see a Bahamut. Of course, that involves me seeing Bahamut, and because he's gonna get access to this anyways, I might as well just blow it up. Um, ah, right. I forgot about that. Well, Moru's run. Rejoice. So, because I forgot how Moru played, and I went into this thinking that he had big boys, I'ma just say fuck Fafnir. Or sorry, not fuck Fafnir. Fuck Bahamut. Wait, no, I was. God damn it! I clicked the wrong button. And at least I get to. Oh, I thought I was gonna get unique dialogue from Moru. Okay, well, anyways, um. Okay, screw me then, um, okay, how much of my deck can just start doing burn damage? Okay, honestly, well, cause it says direct damage, but I'm pretty sure I can deal damage to them even by targeting, I just can't deal them damage via, uh, like, non-effects, I think is what it means. I hope that's what it means. Um, otherwise that means, like, <laughs> otherwise that means I'm walking into this with a huge disadvantage if I don't actually change my deck, but, um, Hopefully I win on the first attempt. Just gonna fast forward through pretty much his entire dialogue line. This okay, let's just fight you again. Um, my god, yeah, so I, we just have to board nuke him consistently. That's what we have to do. And even if, like, the worst part is even if we bring him down to death, his ace is so annoying because of what it does. And because it's a defense is immediately brought down to one, it is unkillable. It is actually unkillable. And as much as I want to keep Fafnir, if we do not see ramp cards, Fafnir will do nothing. So I need to see every ramp card in my deck right now. Can't lose here. Like I get freebie damage to him, I need every ramp card possible. I don't care how good it is. I just need to see the ramp cards. Because if I don't, then I lose. So draw. God damn it, deck. The one time I actually need ramp cards from you, and you're not gonna give them to me. Because that's the only way I can actually hurt this son of a bitch, is to ramp into my high cost. And now he has a ward active in three turns time, which is not preferred at all. Let's just get out attackers, because fuck it. Swing, swing. It, the, the faster I cut his life, and the faster I draw into any of my board new cards, he's dead. I hate you. Oh my god, Moru, you annoying bastard. Okay, Imprison, Ivory, we're just gonna go face and pray. Something tells me I'm gonna lose this game. I don't have enough resources to kill him, and he's gonna play something that drops his countdown, or he's gonna play that which I can't kill. Except the other annoying thing about him too, because he has stuff with ward that can't be killed without effect damage, if he plays something like that on you, you physically can't kill him. Like, you just have to sit there and let him defend himself because you can't stop him. Please be a ramp card. I will take the Fafnir. Um, okay, I'll keep the jewel in hand. Yeah, I'll keep the jewel in hand. The thing is, I might honestly die before I get to even pull that off because I'm still two play points away, and nothing is stopping him from swinging face. Like, I mean, yeah, see, he's gonna use the Evo, but he's not gonna- he, There's no reason for the AI to not use this to swing at face. Oh, especially when he can do that. Yeah, now I'm dead unless I top that Confurgation. Which I don't. Like, I'm actually dead. That actually kills me. Because now all he has to do is evolve that, and suddenly, he goes 6, 10, 14. And even though that doesn't kill me this turn, unless I see Confurgation, I'm dead. Like, I actually have to see Confurgation. And this is why I hate Moru. This is why I hate Moru. You literally cannot touch him the second he plays a card with Ward. And it doesn't matter what I do here, because he has a card with Ward on his board. Well, there's the Confurgation one card too late. So... That's game. 
Oh, right, he had the bird anyway, it didn't make a difference. Yes, I'm due for So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the episode where I just attempt to beat Moru and lose. Trust me, I've beaten him before with this deck. It's not that hard, but it's just in the matter of you have to just hope he doesn't play the game. That That's literally what you have to do. You just have to hope he doesn't play the game or play something with Ward that you see all your nuke cards, which at the end of the day feels so annoying and so undeserving. I mean, you can build a deck specifically to hit him. Like You can build a deck that does a bunch of bop damage to hit him, and you can. The reason why I don't want to do that is because it feels like a hate deck. Like, okay, it's... It's one thing that I have just so happened to have a bunch of cards that deal damage to him, but these are cards I place, like, regardless of the game. Like, we all know that's true. So, like, I can say that I'm playing Fafnir Ignis because that's not necessarily... Well, yes, it's a hate deck in terms of nature. I play those anyways, so it's not like it's, I'm using this specifically to hurt him. When I was using Bahamut specifically to hurt him, yeah, that was a hate deck. But the thing here is I don't want to, like, you know, build an entire deck specifically to face Moru and then nothing else and then just see where that goes from there. Of course, that's not going to work. Or, sorry. Of course, it will work eventually, but, you know, I still have to hit him. And clearly, he's just going to keep doing this. Even with the ramp, this... Okay, so here's my thing. I want to test that theory to see if Serpent's Wrath can actually touch him. If it doesn't, then I am... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. It's not even worth testing that theory. Because it's better just to ramp. It is literally better just to ramp. Because if I if that theory doesn't work, then I automatically screw myself. Because that means I basically wasted the turn of ramping, and I didn't kill his four beat stick. So, I would rather just do this... And because I know Ignis can kill him, go Ignis the Dragony. Thankfully, his effect doesn't affect mine. Thankfully, he doesn't affect me. And while, yes, I'm going to lose out on my board bonus of, like, you know, Ignis getting the free Evo, at this point, I just need him to lose. So, I'm gonna kill this. And we're just gonna hope he can't get rid of it. That's, that's literally the hope here. We just have to hope he can't get rid of it. Well, fuck me then. Um, well, moment of truth, can Serpent's Breath hurt these or no? Okay, they can. It's just attack damage. It is specifically attack damage that can't touch him. Good. Um, or not good, but good it's only attack damage that can't touch them, and not just effects that just so happen to target, because if they did, then I would be so annoyed right now. Okay? I'll wait for you to have a full board for that. Okay, never mind. I might have to path here now. Um, unless... Unless... No, Fafnir now might actually be the only op. No, I'll just Forte. And then I'll just imprison to bop him, because if he doesn't stop the face, then, um... Because Four also can't be attacked. I mean, we know that he has cards that can banish, but, I mean, if he doesn't play any of them, then, you know, that's on him. Sadly, I don't have game for a hot minute, but I really want a Fafnir. God damn it. And there's the black inscriptures I saw coming. So... If I don't board nuke him, I'm dead, because he has exactly enough to kill. Unless... Unless I do this, I think. I think this might be just enough to keep me alive. I think, and then just in case, we'll play that as well. If I might be wrong, but I really hope I'm right on this, because if I'm right, then he's dead. Oh, fuck. I didn't... Okay, I barely live, but he has his thing unlocked next turn, and I don't want to have to deal with that, but... If this can hit me something good... Well, Confurgation. Um... And then we'll go Wyvern. We'll go Alia. We'll go Oracle. And we'll just pray that my that he doesn't play something with Storm. Cause if he doesn't, I'm safe. There's a high chance he will, but if he doesn't, I'm safe. 
Let's get this first. This golden wing will end you. Yes, I'm done for. I forgot about Garuda! I forgot about the bird that I also hate because of this match. Oh my god, I hate Mario. I hate this. Why? With the bird. Why? With the bird. Okay then, we're just gonna keep going till I eventually beat him because... I mean, he'll lose eventually. He has to, by logic of math and everything. But, like, the fact that you can't touch his stuff is so annoying. I... It doesn't matter what I do, the fact that I can't touch them via attacks turns my entire deck into just nothing. I could use Runecraft. In hindsight, Runecraft might be able to get the W because they just you know, spam spells to deal damage, but at the same time, that's like a last resort, and even then, Runecraft probably won't work, just because Runecraft has its problems and still needs to live long enough to see it through, so there's that. And there's no way in hell they don't kill this, and if they don't, then I will be surprised, but if they also don't, then I either Wyvern or Favor next turn, depending on the situation at hand. What did I say? What did I fucking say? Um... Screw it! Screw it. Why not, right? I mean... I have Favor next turn. I have life. I have Wyvern, worst case scenario. I have Fafnir. I have options. I hate you. Um... Well, because clearly I'm dead if I don't do this now. Go Fafnir. Kill. And honestly, playing something that does damage to him isn't a good idea if it doesn't deal damage right now. But right now, I just need to... Oh, right, I forgot. The last words of that card could just actually blow up Fafnir. Watch, it's gonna hit Fafnir. It's gonna hit Fafnir. Oh. Didn't matter, he had a second one! Of course! Of course there was a second one, just to come screw me. And in two turns time, that procs, which is even better. Oh wait, Jewel. And um, thankfully, for my sanity's sake, Fafnir. I'm not- actually wait, Jewel just gave me another Fafnir, right? Jewel just hits me another Faf? Okay, hell yeah, I can work with this, I can work with this, I can work with this, never mind, I'm in a good place right now. There it is! It's finally time to see this motherfucker's annoying ace. This card is so annoying. See, the thing is, I've never even got to the point where it's annoying, I just know it can be annoying. Because it can't evolve without e sorry, it can't evolve regardless. Except, when he dies... When that thing finally goes to hell, it is the most annoying thing on the face of the earth. Because, here's what it does. At the end of your turn, it can reduce my max defense by five. And the thing is, at, even if I kill it, he'll just bring it back. That's the issue. Even if I kill it, he'll just bring it right back. It doesn't matter. Huh. I see 10 damage on board. If. If. This isn't over yet. If. If. He doesn't stop this. If. If I live to my next turn. We have game. If I live to my next turn, we have game. It's a big ass if. But Fafnir and Seabrand did it, baby. Go, Fafnir. 
If that card says it can't be dealt damage, I will legit cry, but it should be able to be dealt damage. Game endo! Boku no Kachida! Thank you, Fafnir! Thank you, Phoenix Roost! F you, Moru! I hate Havencraft. I hate Moru. I hate everything. But I did it. He's dead. We are done. Go to hell. This is what all your efforts have led up to. Yes. So powerful it can't be tainted. Not even by despair. Okay, I actually have to talk about that, though. I do actually have to talk about that. That, because that's a funny thing that just happened yesterday. I think I might just cry. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. So this is how you wield your cards. Oh, hi, Lucia. The Prince of Shadows? You have a lot of nerve using me for your own devices. Your role here is finished. Right, right. Of course. Over. Okay, Motor, just go ahead and leave the room. That's great for me. A promise is a promise. You came here to play against me, right? Well, typically to find out where um, Ray is, but sure. You I'll are opponent of choice. Ready. I'll be waiting here. Well, because we're only 20 minutes in, I really did expect the Motor thing to last a lot longer, but because we're already done with that, I guess we'll take on Lucia, and let me tell you what, this is not going to be easy. I know how Lucia fights. Lucia is a monster. And by monster, I mean, I... I did lose to him the first time. It was really close, but let's just say this. Lucia is probably the character I'm the most afraid of, both just because of his abilities in the anime, but also just life in general. But, um... I honestly think we can win this. Because we beat Moru. And to talk about the thing I was talking about before, the Depths of Despair stuff, um, yesterday me and my friend were play Mandala were playing a game uh, of, uh, not Vanguard, but of Thera. Okay, there's a really good Bloodcraft card. I don't even know if Lucia has this, but if he does, he'll use it against us. That actually would have been really useful against Moru. But anyways, um, we have a... We had a game against each other, and I had a whole plan to win, and I damage checked the one thing I couldn't use to win, because um, I only have one copy of the deck because of how certain card works, and I was so depressed, I thought it was game over, I played a card to draw my cards, I completely forgot, I remembered one card I would draw, and I was pretty confident I would draw it, and then I remembered, and then I completely forgot about the other card that I needed to win was in my deck, I drew both of them, and it was the most, uh, like, not patriotic, what's the word, um... Uh, poetic win ever, and it was just so beautiful. Even though I had given it up, I literally turned it around. And it was like an anime character, too, because it was the main card of the anime character. It was Crimson Dragon Revan that I used to be the main antagonist, um, which was Baham, or not Baham, Drag Drag or not what antagonist, uh, the main rival, Dragon. And the best part was it was also using the main rival's final ace card out Revic to increase Revan's power. So all around was a very fun thing. Anyways, um, I believe we can beat Lucia. How hard will this be? I honestly have no idea, but with my dragons by our side, I have faith that we can do this, and I would try to go craft Ignis, but I have to go win a match for that, and I'm not about to battle off screen, so, Lucia? Are you ready? Yes, you bet it. Very well. Sure. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to cut you off there, good sir. By the way, I'm sure it's occurred to you that Rex <clears throat> Saotome might not want to be found. Do you still intend to continue despite this? Of course. Hmm. None of my business, I suppose. I've heard quite a bit about your style of Shadowverse. You play not for yourself, but for others. I don't understand it myself. Nor do I care. Will your strength be enough? Or will you crumble before me? Let's put it to the test. Let's go, Lucia! Shadowverse! Showdown! Oh, I didn't know I could pause that. Oh my god, I didn't know pressing the A button could pause it. Um, okay, well, let's take Lucia down, shall we? This is going to be bio- Yes! Okay, well, this is not one of my favorite things, but this works for us battle-wise. Okay, Lucia, let's go. Knight of Vengeance. Here we go. I know what his skill does, but just to prove the point of what it does. 
Okay, it applies to only Lucia. It makes his maximum defense 10. The reason that is important, he is always in vengeance. It does not matter. Wait, what? Wait, okay, I was about to say, I see his defense is at 20. How is it at 20? Um, just to make sure, it is always at 10, right? Like, it's guaranteed. Yeah, the maximum defense is at 10. So he will always be at 10, which means he will always be... He will always be in vengeance, which means his entire deck can proc off like a motherfucker. And if I had ramp cards, I could turn this around really quickly and just go for game with Storm. But I do want to see his ace. I, but obviously because of max defense 10 doesn't matter what he does he can't heal but um I do want to see Lucia's ace I am tempting fate by trying to see Lucia's ace but if we reach that point then it's fine but right now my foot god damn it Lucia you're free to forfeit anytime Okay, well, Blue's is gonna make this as annoying as possible for me to win, because he's gonna keep doing that, I guess. The time's not right to play that card just yet. Hmm. Uh huh. Um, okay. Okay, since Lucia clearly wants to go try hard. Uh, okay, I was about to say, if he evolves the Blood Wolf, I'll ram into it with Wyvern, but. Because he clearly just did that. Um. Okay, that Fire Lizard would be useful. Actually, that Fire Lizard is useful. Let's do this. Fire Lizard, Oracle. So I can play both Wyvern and Emissary next turn. And sadly, I have to lose out on the Evo Point, but at least I'm taking his Wolf down. And I'm only leaving him with the one Play Point Bat, which isn't saying... Okay, the Bat can turn it around. We all know that. But the thing is, right now, I'm just trying to deal with whatever I can. He is three, he's two Play Points away from playing his Ace. My hope is, I can just take him down before that comes down. Or, well, I also want to see it. I wonder how you respond. Uh, that's what I'm trying Well. Okay, if I Wyvern, that brings me down to... Please don't let me regret this. Wyvern? Emissary. Actually, in hindsight, I don't even know why I did that, because... To use Ig... I fucked up. I just cost myself the game. In hindsight. Because the whole reason I was... I wanted to use Ignis Scope for free. Except, I can't. And he might have game. Let's finish this. We are very close to death right now, but he doesn't have Evos. Um, Seabran. Man, I fucked up horribly. He has Razor Recall, doesn't he? He has Razor Recall, doesn't he? What? Huh. So we can't win. We are a, we are just that little bit away from winning because Ignis sadly is one hand card short. So I did fuck up. We possibly had game if I evolved Ignis, but um, because I could board nuke him and then he couldn't have stopped me. But we'll just see if he d would he play his ace here because he can. He's not, he doesn't need to. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Okay, so that's on me. That one's on me. I, I tried being a smart, I tried being a smart ass with Ignis. I messed up. That one's on me. Let me quickly do this. Okay, that was probably the best game we were going to get, and I'm so upset too, because, I mean, okay, outside the fact that he didn't play his ace, which I'm going to keep quiet about until he actually plays it. I mean, I'm feeling confident that he will, because we got to see Mordu play his, but, um... I, I do want to see it come down, but if he doesn't play it, then so be it. But I, if I did play Ignis, we probably had a game. I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just trying to be a smartass about it, and I just miscalculated by... Okay, so the game is giving me another chance to try to play Ignis. As much as I want to keep Favor, we need low-cost cards, and we need to not... Well, if I want to play Ignis the way I was trying to, we need to not overload our hand, but... um. 
Something told me Ambling Wrath? Oh. Okay. Something- my strength to you! Okay. Um... Man, okay, as much as I love Dragonic from Vore, it prevents me from doing Ignis, but then again, the only reason I didn't do Ignis last time was because it kind of disagreed with- Okay! Fuck Emissary! <laughs> Something tells me he's gonna kill that BFX, such as the Vampiric Kiss, which means I'm taking four... Or that! Which means I'm taking four damage to face this turn. In fact, I think Lucia off that alone won the game. I think off that alone Lucia won the game. Because I literally can no longer take that down. Not within a timely manner. I think Lucia auto won the game. Because of that one move. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, Lucia won. I can't stop him. I already know. This is game. There is nothing I can do to stop him. That's not even my fault. Unless I topped the Dragon Warrior. Which I didn't. That That's not my fault. I didn't misplay. I didn't do shit. He wins on the next turn. Regardless of which one he evolves, he does 7 damage. Why Lucia had to open with the two cards that pretty much lead to my instant death, I have no idea. Why I had to open with no ramp cards, or I only opened with Alia, and the reason why I didn't play Alia is because clearly it didn't make a difference. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so as long as Lucia doesn't do that again, I think we'll be fine. I... I wasn't prepared for him just to go the weird thing that I swear sucks because while he has a two play point drop, it only has two defense and it dies to pretty much everything. I didn't expect that to come down followed by his bullshit that kills my boar. So Lucia took away my hopes of winning on the first attempt in all about five seconds. That's three games now we've opened with Ignis. I think the game is trying to tell me something since Lucia is Hero's rival and Ignis is Hero's ace. Why do I have a feeling he's been drawing his ace too and literally we are like just on the verge of coming head to head with each other? I feel like that's the case. Like we are on the verge of going head to head with our aces, but um... Okay, sure. Listen, I would normally play Dragon Oracle here, but because of that card that keeps dealing my board damage, in case you play that bullshit again, I'm going with board presence. Okay, thank god you didn't do that again. Um, we'll go firstborn. Next turn we'll play Oracle with Emissary. The reason why I didn't do it this turn is because it wouldn't have a... Actually, I could have done the combo, but it wouldn't have made that much of a difference to me personally. Okay. He's getting a bat next turn. I don't think I can stop him no matter how hard I try. So... Instead, let's allow his bat as much as I don't want to, because next turn I have Confurgation. Worst comes to worst, I board nuke him. Worst comes to worst, I board nuke him. And I have Ignis on the following. So... The time's not right to play that card. Like, worst, worst comes to worst, I'm not in a bad position. I'm not in an amazing position, especially because of that, but I'm not in a bad position. Now... I could really use a card I can play this turn that does something. I don't care what it does, just does something. Imprison it is, because it can kill the thing that is barely out of range of confrontation. Um... Yeah, I'ma just kill it. I'ma let the bat live, because the bat is either gonna force an evil point out of him, or it's gonna die to confrontation. Either way, it's... I, that's fine. That's fine. Honestly, him doing that. Yeah, see, I told you, he was gonna waste the evil on it. So... Oh, but he's at 9 defense, though. Now, I'm not thinking about this, too. If he does play Ignis, or if he does play his ace, Ignis might not be enough. It depends. I really want to proc Ignis off on the two Evos, because I think he might actually play his ace. But I don't think I have the ability to get the free Evo. Not without putting myself really close to the line. Yeah, especially with all these bats. Okay, he evolved though, he evolved. That's not good, it's not bad either. Okay, if I kill that bat, draw something low cost. Damn it. Um. I don't want to kill it, because I'm really afraid that he actually has his ace on lock. But my hand is too high cost. Watch, he's gonna play his ace. He's gonna play his ace. If he plays his ace here, I die to it. I cannot stop his ace. But, 
if by some miracle of God, he doesn't play his ace. Which, considering I drew Ignis Dragon three times, I'm willing to bet he has it at this point. Um, then he loses. But if he does have it, then I think I lose unless I top deck because my hand has been too high cost. There it is. So I'm glad I got to show this off. But at the same time, that's why I didn't want to do that. So, he can't be damaged by spells or effects. Which is why I wanted to keep Ignis. But, um, when he dies, his leader takes a fuck ton of damage. So... Fafnir. Now, my hope is that I pull something with Storm. If I do, I have game. I hate you so much right now, Lucia. Boy, do not kill Faf! No! My one out to you! And I actually had game too, because I topped up something with Storm. Um... Ivory... Okay, here's the thing. If Emissary... F oh, wait, he can't kill me. Oh, wait, yeah, he can. If Emissary flips a fat... Wait, no. Emissary would have to flip Confurgation. Even then, that wouldn't kill. Um, just because this is the safer bet, we'll kill that. If he has Raise Recall, which he honestly might, he has game. He has Raise Recall. Yep. I guess I'm done for. I'm happy he played it. I am, but I'm so upset because if I had just drawn anything low enough cost to play two cards a turn, I had game because I didn't want to play the Ignis there. I knew playing the Ignis would be death, but there was literally no choice because I knew he wouldn't play Dark Emperor otherwise. I'm glad I got to show those two off. I really am, but I really wanted it to... I'm both so mad right now and not mad at all. Okay, it. Okay, Ignis just wants to show up. I feel like this is like a rigged thing where if Ignis is in your deck, there's a lot of a higher chance of it showing up during your match with Lucia because that can't be coincidence that every game we've had so far, I have opened with Ignis. That is physic with the one of copy. Exactly. That is impossible. That every game, that this has been four or five games now, and every single one of them I have opened with Ignis. There you are. Um, but sure. But bet, bet he's gonna play the thing that board nukes. Actually, he can't because it only does one damage. But he's gonna kill the. No, uh, 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 uh. We ain't taking chances with this shit. We ain't taking chances. I'm not. I'm not letting him kill and my outs to that. We're killing that before it can kill me. Okay, that's fine. I'll. I'll get my ramp another way. But go, Alia, please. I'll kill it with Dragon Warrior. Get his force back. I don't know. I have Confurgation. I have something I can do. The time's not right. Again, we're in the same situation. Oh, does he say that when he draws it? Does he say that when he draws, um, Dark Emperor? Because if he does, then that means he does have it. And also, goddammit. So I have the ramp, so that's good. The downside is I have to debate, do I want to give him... I can also Confurgation, that's an option. No, I want presents. I also want to, you know, proc Ignis as soon as possible, because if I do, he's dead. I just need to get to Ignis. I need to get to Ignis and stop him. Okay, let's see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't drop me too low. I hate you. Boy. Okay, he's too far away from playing Dark Emperor. If I play Ignis now and I kill him, he's dead. That is honestly the situation we're in. If I play Ignis now, he is dead. In fact, because of that top deck, with this music, Maelstrom Dragon, and because I have seven cards or less in my hand, a vital howl to the heavens, Ignis the Dragon! Ignis Dragon skill with two or less hand cards. He automatically evolves once the cutscene finishes, of course. And then because he automatically evolves on swing, he basically kills your board. Go! 
Ignis Dragon Blazing Buster! I don't know what his attack name would be called in English, but that's what I'm gonna call it. He's dead if he doesn't kill Ignis. He's dead. Don't you dare do this, Lucia. I hate you. Let's finish this. So he definitely has Dark Emperor in hand. He definitely has it. And I can't kill it now. Um, but my only way to stall is Ivory, because I'm not leaving that thing on the board. Or I'm gonna... No, I'm not giving him access to it. If I kill Dark Emperor in this situation, he is dead. He's gonna play it. More strength. What? You're good. Okay, that's definitely Dark Emperor. He he definitely has it. Now, if only he would just die. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, Dark Emperor. How long? To Boy, play the damn card. Um. Oh. Oh, if I had played Phoenix Rooster earlier, I, I would have game here. Um... I have a plan. I just really hope this works. Die. Wait, no, your skill... God damn it, your last words are gonna stop it. Okay, if I were to play this and it cuts it... Oh yeah, it's gonna be just enough. God damn it, it's last words get around my plan. If you couldn't see the play, it was play for Evolver, go for face. Can you please play the Dark Emperor and thank you? Dark Emperor. Okay. Here's the thing. The AI has a very high chance of top decking consistently. I don't know why. But if this gives me Storm, I win. Anything with Storm in this game. Emissary. Really? Really? There are so many cards in Zekwa Storm and you couldn't give me one of them. No, it's fine. This is risky, but it's fine. Forte. The skies are my domain! What I'm about to do is so risky. This is the riskiest play I will ever make. Please tell me you do not reduce damage. Okay, you don't. Here we go. Five damage to the leader. Cunning Wyvern. If he does not kill it, he is dead. Don't you dare have a second razory claw. Oh wait, he can't. I'll slice you to ribbons. No! Why? Why? Guess I'm done for. Are you kidding me right now, Lucia? Why? Why then? Why then? Of all times, all I needed was a storm card. The amount of times he healed out of game. The amount of times that motherfucker healed out of game. Okay. We're just gonna have to keep going. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay, I have Oracle, I have Drool, I have things that can hurt him to some extent. I hate you. I want to let that be clear. You and your annoying vengeance. That stupid. It's not even Raise Me Claw. I'm mad at. I'm mad at the fact that I know he top deck. I know he top deck. It doesn't matter which one he top deck. It's the fact that he did top deck. Uh. I mean, that's fair though. I tried playing the odds with that crap. I lost the toss. He didn't. Fair is fair. I am fire lizarding this now because I don't want him having board presence. <sighs> I hate everything. I need more 
Well, um, Oracle, I guess. Okay, listen, I want to play Bejeweled when, um, Jewel might make a difference. So as much as this might be a dumb decision, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm assuming that he says that whenever he draws Dark Emperor. I'm assuming he will always say that when he draws Dark Emperor. Because there's no way. But, draw for turn, as much as ramping might... As much as ramping might be a bad idea here, I do need the... Inherent Storm bullshit that is my deck. Okay, I have Dragon Warrior now, so I can at least hurt him plus a Maelstrom. Listen to my song. The one time I could use a Confurgation. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Okay, what do I need to kill? If I Dragon Warrior that, then he doesn't get bashed, but Dragon Warrior dies. If I don't, okay, well here's what we're gonna do. Dragon Warrior, I have a choice to make. I love, also love how my hand is one, two, three, and if the Swerpent uh, Wrath was swapped with four, it would be four. Okay, one of these needs to die. I don't know which one. I guess it's, I don't want you having board presence even if it kills me. Actually, no, it's fine. This is the better play, I think. Cause I kill that. Then I play Maelstrom. This gives him bats. It does give him bats. Unless I go face. And if he doesn't heal, and if he doesn't play bats, I win. If he doesn't heal or play wards, I win. If he doesn't heal or he doesn't play wards, I win. Don't you dare oh, kill me with Razor Claw, you fuck. He's he has Razor Claw. I guess I'm done for. It was a good plan. It was a good plan. I just forgot about the Razor Claw. Boy, what do I need to do to kill you? Just stay dead. I remember the first time I tried this too. I tried to fight fire with fire by using blood crap. Yeah, that was not a good idea. <laughs> that was not a good idea. It, I, he burned himself. Him being an instant vengeance made it way too hard to try to match him with blood crap. It, it was instant death trying. He got me down to vengeance so quickly, except he already has the huge lead and I could not stop him. Okay, can I please win this time, Lucia? I beg of you. You are killable. I know that. I have put you in like three different game situations, and each time you've gotten out of it, I need you to just die this time. Okay? Make it easy on me, please. Deck, if you could also make it easy on me, that'd be great too. I'm glad that we got to do the Ignis versus, um, Dark Emperor game. Also, weird coincidence, he does- I don't have Ignis for once. I didn't have Ignis last game either. I think it's because Ignis has just abandoned me. How long to nope. 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 We're not doing this. We are not doing this shit today. I know I can't kill it, and I know they're gonna blow up my board, and if they don't, I'm killing that. I knew that was coming. I hate that- Sure. Sure. Don't go face. I'm not gonna argue it. It leaves me with free ramp and it gets you out the fucking way. Um. I have Favor now, I guess. Okay, so he auto draws it on turn four. He he will auto draw on turn four. Um, you need to die before you cause me any problems. At Deck, listen, listen. You screwed me over earlier because you gave me too many high cost cards. Let the next few draws be as low cost as possible because I know this mofo has Dark Emperor in his hand. I know it, I've seen the pattern. It's in there. Please, don't force me to use the Evo point. Stop doing that. When will it be enough? Well, now I gotta waste the last evil point on Dragon Warrior. So now I have to bank it on, um, to Ignis Dragon's effect. Okay, well, at least the deck's listening. Um, Fire Breathing you. And then we'll Evo this to kill. We have board presence. He does have, he can kill my board. He can, I know he can. But... It's gonna at least lead into a Confurgation, possibly. Boy. This. 
Okay, listen, Deck, Forte is still in there. I know Forte is still in here. Can I top deck Forte? The saltiest part about that is if I had the evolution point, I have game. But, um, I don't. So, here's what I'm going to... Actually, no, it's not even worth trying to bank it on that, so... Confrogation. I know it's not a good idea, but, like, I can't... There's no reason to try to put him to low enough defense. He will heal out of it. I'm just trying to wait for the oppor- Wait. This is the opportunity. This is the opportunity for game. If he plays Emperor, I win. If he kills that, I win. Because Jewel just gets it back. Fuck you. Go to hell for that. Are you kidding me? Two cards with Ward. You play two cards with Ward. The only out to game. And you play two of them. Boy! Fafnir. I know he's going to play it. I know he's going to play it. But. But. I, well, I'll lose the hand card anyways. But. Dark Emperor. Stop playing cards with Lord! Please! Stop with the wards! Okay, finally, I have enough hand cards to proc Ignis automatically. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swing. We're gonna Ignis. He is going to Emperor. He will, if he... Please, Emperor, right here, right now. Yes! He's dead, he's dead. If he does not heal, I win. If he does not heal, I win. He's dead to Ignis. If he does not heal, I win off Ignis. I would've played both aces and I win. If he does not heal, I win. Oh my god, he's dead! Jesus Christ! Okay, here we go! Howl to the heavens! Roar like the Dragon King you are! Avario! Ignis the Dragon! I am so glad that in the final one, I got to play both Factor and Ignis. Ignis skill with two attack cards! He automatically evolves! Take him down! Ignis Dragon skill! I deal three damage to all followers and raises attack by five! With last words, five damage to the leader! Fuck you! Let's go, baby! Go to hell for that! Good game. Oh, by the way, remember that time I mentioned the combo Dragonic, or, sorry, Dragonic Surge and Fafnir? Guess what game that was that I first pulled that combo off? You guessed it! This one! Go to hell, Lucia! I did it! Jesus Christ, you annoying son of a bitch! You and your vengeance! But I did it! I did it! <laughs> Took so much, but I did it. <laughs> My god, that took so much energy to take him down. I know when I've been bested. GG's, dude. That was worth it. I wish I could win that. I wish that was our first game, you but, can you know, still whatever. Become stronger. When you do, know that I'll be waiting. Deck in hand. Okay, no, wait. Riso Tome plans to enter the national championship. If you go, you're sure to face him there. Thanks for the info, Lucia. Okay, speaking of nationals, I want to try to win nationals without losing. So, we're actually going to go try hard in nationals. You like, try, try hard. Prince of Shadows and won? Barely. After, you like, five losses. Guts, kid. Seriously, just how good are you? You definitely ain't no ordinary Shadowverse <clears throat> player, that's for sure. Okay, but we can argue, though. I put him in a lot of game-ending situations. That motherfucker either top deck out of it or played wards. That game! I had a game so many times, and he kept playing wards! <laughs> There's no way he didn't top deck like one of those back-to-back. -back. I'm so glad I was able to bait the, the Dark Emperor. Congratulations. 
you've earned the title of Supreme Champion of the Underverse Arena. Got to know that was Lucia's title before. Can I refer to you as Supreme Champion from now on? Please don't. <laughs> Merely joking. Either way, congratulations. Incidentally, were you able to identify the whereabouts of Rei Saotome? Aw, I cares about us. The National Championship? I see. I don't believe in it personally, but my sister often speaks of fate. Perhaps your reunion with Rei Saotome was always meant to take place on the National Championship stage. May fortune Perhaps. smile upon you. Yes. That touch, uh, that was touch and go with the Anniversary Arena. Actually, what did it say? That, that takes care of the Anniversary Arena. It was a little touch and go for a while, but I ended up having a lot of fun. And now I know where to find Rei. That is true, I had a lot of great matches, but it's getting late. I guess I better start heading back to the dorm. And this is where I will come to grind from now on. I will literally just come here to get free Ignises. I'm not even kidding with you. It'll take a while, but it'll be worth it. Oh, we got a new thing. <gasps> How'd it go? Barely won. Barely. No way! So you're the supreme champion now? I'm actually understanding why now this is the only card game video game that I know of that actively allows you to retake the match right after you lose, like not even reforcing to restart the story. This is the only one that does it, and I think it's because the developers were actually aware of the game consistently being able to top deck. That's not me saying I'm only losing because they're top decking, but come on! We can all agree that at least in that last one before I lost, the before I finally won that last one where he Scarlet Vampire Razor Claw, he had to have top deck one of those, and if he did not top deck either, I would have survived. It had to be specifically something that dealt three damage. Blood Wolf would not have been enough. We have to admit, I deserve that win. That was actually a top deck. I've top decked a lot, but at least I admit to it. The game, bullshit. I think that's why they, they choose to let Guys, you rematch immediately. You hear that? We have an Underverse champ in the house! Barely! You're a straight up Shadowverse All Star at this point! I give the win to, yeah. um. Even the Underverse was no match for you! Okay, Moru, I don't Just care about, I but I will say Lucia is probably the real champ because he actually did destroy me, really. Like, there was a few matches where he did actually destroy me, and I will say, yes, he did get lucky, but so did I, so there's that. You and I also. Calculated. You've been pacing around in circles since you got here, you know? Ha! Yeah, you seemed really worried. I am glad that we got consistent Dark Emperor versus Ignis slash Fafnir. Just getting some exercise. Mm-hmm, sure. So, did you find any leads on Ray Saotome? Yeah, he's gonna be a Nash. By the way, how are everyone doing on the Gold Cup and stuff? Because technically, for the Gold Cup, me and Hero have to fight each other. I see. I thought maybe he left because he didn't like Shadowverse anymore. <laughs> But I guess that can't be true if he's playing at Nationals. Well, that's gonna be terrifying if he's but at Nationals. why bother transferring schools? Hmm. Well, let's not sweat the small stuff for now. Right. If we make it to Nationals, we can ask him there ourselves. Exactly. Sound idea. You're right. I'm sure he'll tell us if we ask him face to face. Right. So that's the plan, I guess. So it sounds like the new plan is the old plan. Nationals, here we come, baby. And don't forget, if we win Nationals, we become an official club. You though, I think Kagura already agrees to it anyways. Tournament, Kazuki Shindo. Ha! I believe in Kazuki to place in the Gold Cup, though. Kazuki is passionate when he needs to be. With that, we all head to the Shadowverse Stadium to do some practice. Let's go, guys! Take everyone down! Of course, the three fighters of the group just go down. Go, Kazuki! Actually, it was between Kazuki and Hero. I'm kind of like 50-50, depending on this. Assuming they're helping each other with deck building. I think. Okay, they're definitely helping each other with deck building. There's Mai. Hey, Mai. I, I love this little training montage we have. This makes me feel so good. And one by one, one of each of us cleared our Master Rank Critical Trials. There you go, Kazuki! And Mamori, and Kai, and Kagura, and Hiro. Everyone's a Master Rank player now! Okay, but now I have multiple different options for this thumbnail, because all of this was shoved into one episode. <laughs> I, I expected Moru and Lucia. I didn't think it would just like immediately go into this. We finally did it, you guys! We all made it to Master Rank! Yeah! Yes, well, thanks to a certain someone, we almost did it. Fortunately, we were all able to pull through and qualify for nationals. Oh, I have faith in Kazuki. I feel like. Mitz, who's the slacker? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, in any 
case, all that remains is the national championship. Right. Just like the Gold Cup, this tournament is only held in one location. So essentially... <laughs> we'll all be competing against each other, right? Man, I'm so pumped to play you guys on the big stage! For real, I think I've gotten pretty good myself, you know? You better watch out, Kai. Don't underestimate my genius. It's thanks to all of you that I was able to make it this far. So I won't let this chance go to waste. <laughs> Despite being a member myself, I can't go back on my word. If we aren't successful here, the club will be disbanded as originally agreed upon. Okay, I thought Carver was on his side, but whatever. And I too will be playing to the utmost of my ability. That's good. This is the big one, you guys. Let's give it everything we've got and then some. Because we're winning this thing. I mean, there's six of us, so we should have like a chance. Like, we have a decent chance, right? If all of, if some of us get to the finals, depending on how big I Nationals is. Arrangements have been made, Mr. Orange. Just one more day. One more day until the new champion arises. Excited, sir? Very much so. The stage is set for the final chapter to unfold, but only one player will find the ending they seek. The spotlight is on you now. Will you rise to the challenge? I like how he just talks to the player, just to just casually breaks the fourth wall. Shadow vs. Showdown. I wish they just said, I, I get why it's Shadow vs. Showdown, but I wish it was just the Nationals, that was the title name. The Ignis Dragon that I top deck can- The Ignis Dragon was our saving grace in the entirety of the Underverse. Today's the big day, the day of the cha National Championship. Can I please stop the episode now? Morning guys, just pump for Nationals. Me! I can't wait! Same here! The uh, championship encompasses all of Nikome. Once it begins, all eyes will be on the tournament. Any fin unfinished business should be settled beforehand. Okay, everybody, meet in the club room when you're ready. Which means I have to do pretty much all the quests this episode, or the next episode. So, you'll be able to do things like switching between day and night, uh, or participating in friendship quests during nationals. These features will become available again once the tournament ends. So, next time, we will cover everything we need to do off camera, or not off camera, on camera. So, I'll see you all then. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join us for follow Twitch in next episode again. Quest time. So see you all then. Don't forget the only way to start this episode is Shadowverse Showdown.